part of the lamb. Make your slaves eat shit. I mean, there's nothing better than that. One step from Eden. If you like Mega Man Battle Network, then this will suit you the most because it plays really similar to that game. All the characters in this game is different and is unique, although I must say that at the earlier stages of the game, you need to get used to the combat and learn all the characters because they're all unique. One character has this passive where if the land is destroyed, he will be faster and deal more damage. So yeah, that is one of the unique characters in this game. And you can expect more unique characters like this in the game. So I must say that you should definitely try this game. Dead Cells. A lot of weapon variety and I love the easter eggs in this game. Spoiler, there is going to be a Valve easter egg. And what game is it from, hmm? Hmm, I wonder. Combining the alien aspect of the game? Huh? Who knows? Don't starve. The gameplay is you pick a character each with their own unique quirks and your mission is simple. Don't starve. Well, kinda kinda easy, don't you think? Well, not really. You gotta deal with all sorts of crazy stuff like funky creatures, random weather changes, and just plain odd landscapes. It's basically a survival game in a way, but scarier and creepier. You're running around, gathering stuff, crafting tools, and basically doing your best not to die or starve in a better word. The art style is kinda eerie but cool at the same time, and the whole game feels like a wild adventure where you learn from your messed ups, and oh my god, I remember doing 10 runs before I get the gist of this game. And trust me, it's a blast repeating this game over and over again. Oh, and if you die, you become a ghost and you can spectate your friends if you're playing this game with your friends. So yeah, that's pretty funny and pretty cool. Don't starve, it's kind of like a roguelite roguelike game. So I like it and it is very recommended by me. Darkest Dungeon Darkest Dungeon is like a dark and twisted strategy game. You're in charge of a squad of heroes trying to survive in some seriously spooky dungeons. But here's the kicker. It's not just about fighting monsters, it's about dealing with the mental health of all your characters too. The stress these heroes go through is as real as the monsters they face leading to madness and all sorts of, you know, drama. Uh, the turn-based combat is a no joke. You gotta be very tactical or your squad will die. The art style is dark and atmospheric, the narrator's voice is haunting, and the difficulty is quite punishing, making Darkest Dungeon a wild ride through the eerie, unknown, cool adventures of Dark Souls-ish, I guess. So to put it simply, it's like a strategy game with a side of psychological horror and it's pretty goddamn awesome. What else do you want me to say?
Returnal. Well, it stands out to be an exceptional gaming experience. Seamlessly blending innovative roguelike mechanics, stunning visuals, and intense combat. The combat is marked by its fast-paced nature and responsive mechanics, while well, feels both rewarding and skill-driven. To be honest, this is quite a rogue light because of its nature of the game. It's quite story-driven. I mean, it's kind of like Hades, but kind of like a downgrade from Hades if I am going to be honest with you all. But the audio in this game is phenomenal. The sound design, it is very immersive. Such a beautiful game, guys. Such a beautiful game. So if you haven't tried this game already, please try it because this game is very good from its story, from its audio, from the gameplay too. Everything in this game is good. And it is quite addicting too to uncover all the mysteries behind the story of this game. Recorded log found. Adding to data bank. Playing back now. Scout log. Atropos. Elapsed time. 30 minutes since last crash. Whole areas of this forest are rearranging themselves like a fluid puzzle after each of my... When... Whenever I return, per Astra Protocol, I will not be recovered. Yes, of course, I'm gonna put the Risk of Rain 2 in this list. Well, basically, if you haven't played Risk of Rain, it is all about surviving waves of enemies with your squad. Yes, you can play this with your friends. It is multiplayer. With a diverse cast of characters, dynamic difficulty scaling, and a ton of game-changing items, every run is new and challenging. Plus, those epic boss fights. <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I right? Or wrong? I don't know. Pure adrenaline, bro. Pure adrenaline. Oh man, the times I had with this game. From shouting to getting mad at your friends, you know, joking around. It's, it's a fun time. You're gonna have a fun time playing this game. Trust me. Risk of Rain Return Well, you can say this as like a remastered or a re-release of the game with all the unique loot combination and more characters Risk of Rain Return is surely a very fun roguelike game Not to mention that you can also play multiplayer in this game like in Risk of Rain 2 And of course, there is Couch Co-op So, hey, what's not to love about Couch Co-op? Blaze Blue Entropy Effect I know I'm recommending this at number 2 but unfortunately this game is still in early access but don't let that discourage you. There's a reason why this game is in number 2 and it is the mystery of the story and of course the gameplay. It is a 2D side scrolling game but every hit is impactful and every hit is super satisfying with various characters from the Blaze Blue universe and a lot variety of upgrades making this game feels like a polished game. Now, I know there's no voice acting yet and there's a lot of bugs that needs fixing, same as all early access game. But just the mechanics and the core system of the combat, it's good, it's amazing. Everything is polished. So yes, Blaze Blue and Tropy Effect 
a very addicting roguelike game and you should definitely give this game a go. <laughs> And of course, in number one, it's Hades. This game is still worth playing and paying full price till this day. Well, in my opinion at least. It is top tier in all aspects. I still don't know any roguelike game that can compete to this polish of a game. Even Returnal is not there yet in the replayability, even the story, and even the music department. This game's voice acting is so goddamn good. Even better than most AAA games. Gameplay at the start is a bit slow but after a while, the game becomes super fast paced and players have the access to various weapons by unlocking it using the currency that is given by the game. And of course you also can upgrade your hero which is Zagreus. You can upgrade him by finishing all the runs and then getting some currencies again that is given by the game and then you upgrade like the scales like more dodges so you can obtain more dodges and so on and so on honestly it is more than just that if i have to explain everything in this game it will be too long but if you love roguelike games this is a must have for sure please if you haven't tried hades just try it and you will see games in a different light i kid you not Covered as you can plainly see, monster, as has Asterius. And this time we are filled with renewed vigor to destroy you utterly. 